all literally all you have to do is make your baby registry on Target and you'll get a whole goodie bag. Oh my god! Oh my god, a little bottle! I don't know what any of it means. Like I don't understand pumping. Hello friends! If you do your baby registry on Target, by the way, if you hear music upstairs, Trey is practicing. We are playing at the church in the morning. So I went we went to Target tonight. And I was like, I really want to go get it. Even though I'm literally only seven weeks pregnant, I'm just excited. And I want to show you all what's in it. This is free. All, literally all you have to do is make your baby registry on Target and you'll get a whole goodie bag. See what kind of goodies we have. We have some Huggies little snugglers. Baby, uh, what is this? Diapers. <laughs> um, this would be probably good to like put in your diaper bag a bit if you just like needed some real quick. What is this? Is this also a diaper? I don't really know. Wait, oh, wipes? Wipes? Oh my god, look how tiny this is. Is that real? Babies go through five to eight diapers each day. <sighs> oh, more. Um, what are these? Wipes from Honest. Oh my god. Oh my god, a little bottle. This is like the first time I'm like seeing any baby products. This is so weird to have like baby stuff in front of me. Look at this little baby bottle. Oh my god. Look, Indie Pop. Look, this is for babies. Yum yum. <laughs> oh my god, Jonesy's trying to get out of here. Pacifier? I don't know, let's open it up. Jonesy is very intrigued on what all this is. He's like, Mom. What's going on? What's going on? They think it's for them. Every time I open anything or bring anything home, if we get a package in the mail, they think it's for them too. Water wipes. Wow, they give you like everything to try. That's really cool that they like give you so many like things that you can. Breastfeeding supplement. Chocolate, great taste, gluten free. Oh, these are like nursing pads. I'm um, not gonna lie, last night I watched a whole video on breastfeeding because it's like something I don't know anything about. And I did have a whole panic attack last night over it. So, sitting here watching videos on breastfeeding and pumping and things of that nature because I could not tell you a single thing about any of that. No idea. That I genuinely forgot that that's part of having a child is like, you have to feed them with the milk that comes out of your body. So I forgot about that. And then I just got so overwhelmed because I'm like, I don't know what any of it means. Like, I don't understand pumping. I don't know. I just have no idea. And like, you guys have to understand, like I grew up without like, I didn't have any cousins. I didn't have any aunts or uncles. I'm also the oldest kid in my family. So like, I didn't have like older si siblings or anybody to learn from. It was like, I was the one that was learning everything firsthand. So like, I truly like, there's just so much I just don't know. And like, and I don't really have many friends that have kids. I have one friend who has um, a daughter. Other than that, I am kind of the first of our friends to have a baby. So I'm like, I'm just going on YouTube and looking at all these videos. Thank God for all my influencer YouTube friends. Cause I'm like, I don't know what I'd do without y'all because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I'm just feeling like very overwhelmed by it. And it's like kind of stressing me out and I, like why there's so many so many pumps why are there so many there's like handheld ones there's like mechanical ones there's ones that like look like little aliens i just need someone that's a mother to like take me to coffee or something and just be like let me teach you everything sweetheart so any of you people out there that are a mother maybe you have like i don't know someone that's got like a million kids <laughs> can somebody just like tell me what to do because zero idea what i am doing there's there's a million articles and a million pe people that are gonna tell you what to do what to eat what you can't eat what you can do, what you can't do. And I'm like, oh my God, it's just too much information. I don't, at this point, I don't know what even is the right thing to do. Like, I don't know. What's, what's the right breast pump? I could not tell you. I don't know, does someone tell me something to make me feel better? <laughs> that was fun. Oh yeah, these are just like the little baggies to hold milk. 
don't get stressed, it's fine. Uh, oh, shampoo and like baby wash, cute. Aquaphor, baby, fast relief, cute. This would be nice, like all these little things, like hold on to this if you like were traveling um, with your baby and then you could like have like some travel stuff. Bookie wipes for their bookies. Wow, guys, look how much stuff like, look at all this stuff that comes in this bag. I got a whole bottle in here. What is this? Oh my god, I cannot believe, like, I'm gonna have a baby. Look at the passy. This is for babies. Whoa, this is a lot of instructions. I don't know what all this means. Got well, all my little baby stuff. Wow, this is like the first time having, like, baby stuff in front of me. It's so weird. Let's go show trade. <laughs> Is that from Target? Yeah. Aww. And look, a little Cassie. Aww. Isn't that crazy? This is weird to hold. I know, holding actual baby stuff. <laughs> look how tiny it is. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Look how tiny this is. I think I'm nine weeks today, maybe. I honestly don't know. When I wake up, my stomach is like pretty flat and then by the end of the day, it gets really big. I don't know if that's just because of eating or bloating or whatever. But today I woke up and my stomach is not flat this morning. It is, um, it's out there. Sorry, my mirrors are disgusting. Look at this. Usually like this is how it look at the end of the day. And it's not squishy, like it's actually hard. And I felt like last night when I was like laying down, I felt like my stomach was like, I felt like this like stretching feeling. Like it just felt like it was like pulling like this. Like I was just laying down and I could feel my stomach. It just felt like it was like pulling. <sighs> There's like this tiny little, it's crazy. I'm so out of breath all the time. We told my parents this week, this past weekend, they were shocked. They were so shocked. And you'll see in the video of us telling our family, I think that should already be up on my channel. Cause I am their first, I was their first kid. Probably gotta be so weird for your first kid to have kids. I can't even imagine. They're very excited. We've talked about it so much already. I was so nervous to tell them. They were definitely like the, the what I was, who I was most scared to tell. Cause I just didn't know how they would react. Cause we just haven't talked I just have never talked about it. Like, um, I thought maybe like another couple of years at least. And I told my grandpa this last weekend, I called him my mom, cause she, my mom cannot keep her mouth shut. She uh, wants to tell everybody. So I was like, mom, we cannot tell everyone. She's like, can you at least call grandpa and tell him? So we called my grandpa and we told him, but I told her, I'm like, you cannot tell anybody because I don't want to tell people until July. And it's like the beginning of June right now when I'm filming this. So, so I've been avoiding literally all of my friends. And I told my mom this, I'm like, I've been avoiding everyone. And she's like, yeah, I thought you were mad at me because I've been like seriously avoiding my mom. Like I've, I've seen her three times since like I've known. And so those three times, she's like, I thought that you were mad at me. You were acting so weird. And I'm like, no, I was trying to keep a secret from you. And I thought you were on to me. She's like, no, I had no idea. I'm pretty sure that they know. I'm pretty sure they know because I just feel like Claire can, I just feel like Claire is too freaking smart. And she, I feel like she definitely caught on, but she would never say anything. So, but this is like just the behind the scenes. And I feel like nobody really records or talks about um, their first trimester because they kind of have to keep it a secret. And then you never see what goes on in like the first trimester with people cause they are keeping it so secretive. So they usually don't like film or talk about it. Remember this time because like nobody is going to know about it. No one's gonna hear about it. Cause I'm gonna keep it a secret probably until I'm in my second trimester. I don't know, I want to remember my first trimester. Like, it's already going by so fast. That is all for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You will be seeing the video soon of us going to <laughs> the very first doctor's appointment and seeing and hearing the baby for the first time. So that will be coming up in next in the next vlog. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Love you guys. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye.